my safe word is pineapple juice. Hello guys, welcome back to the channel and today we're back with another horror game and today we're going to be playing a game called Doll Man. Now this is a game about where you're desperate for money, so you're accepted a job offer as in a doll factory. It turned out to be something much more sinister. Hopefully you guys all enjoy today's episode. We're not going to mess around. Hopefully you like dolls, because I don't. But uh, let's get straight into the video. Here we go. So in this game, every playthrough is slightly different. Many events in the game are not scripted, meaning that what you encounter is unique and only for you. Um, it also says you will not be chased by a monster. Nothing will scream or jump into your face, but it's still a horror game. Be, be prepared of being scared. Are you ready to start working? New guy, you're finally here. Welcome to the Sweet Cheeks factory. Press the green button to enter. No time to waste. The work is already waiting. But first, go to the locker room and put on your uniform. Locker room. Okay. Which one is ours? They're all locked. Okay. First day on the job, must not right, screw up. up and go to the workshop. Assembly, generator, utility, exit. Ah, workshop. Okay. Now get to work. Press the green button to start your shift. I hope you don't fail as miserably as the previous guy. Okay. Have you got all fingers? Yes. This one's talk. Uh, approve. Exposed. You got all arms and all legs. Looks like it. Enjoy. Clothes of this doll are damaged. How you have missed so obvious thing. Oh, I almost forgot to tell you one more thing. What? Here at the factory, we have some special protocols that must be followed carefully. One of these protocols is to keep all doors closed at all times. So go and close those goddamn doors you have left widely open. Let me know. Okay. Good. Keeping the doors closed is essential for your survival. I mean, for your work. Never mind. You can now proceed with your previous task. What's a weirdo? Ooh. How do you know if their clothes are damaged? I never thought I would be spending a f***ing voice today, Tuesday, inspecting dolls. I feel like a Timu worker. Have you seen them? The amount of like, workers that they have. I don't know how long this is either. You're a bit chubby, aren't you? Jesus Christ. No, you're broken. That's good. His head just came off. Of all the things you can get, why would you go for a doll? Ah, shit on it. What the hell? The generator is shut down. Follow the emergency lights downstairs and turn the damn thing back on. Turn the electricity back on. Where's the stairs? How about you get off your fat ass and do something? This is. This is. This is. Generator. Oh, great. Red light, and there's a doll. 
No. I ain't helping you. Are these dolls having a shower or something? Good God. No. Honestly, I had experience with rats just a couple of days ago. They jumped at me and it was the weirdest thing ever. One thing I would say to the uh, the person who Finally, made this. What, what took you so long? Whatever. Whatever. Your job is done for today. Go home and rest now. Don't think too hard about what happened today. I'm not thinking about anything, mate. I'm leaving. You're a horrible manager. Day two. Here we go again. Hurry up, new guy. You have a lot of work today. Excuse me. My name is George. Don't call me new guy. You prick. Go to the utility room on your way to the workshop and grab a bucket. The ceiling in the workshop is leaking a bit. And whose problem's that? Yours. Not mine. Yours. Jesus! Yeah, just get the most rustiest bucket in the bloody world. Built from the 1912. Probably on the bloody Titanic, for all I know. I have improved the dolls. Now they have a voice function. Tilt the doll so now you and then bring it back to the right position. Check the rules for details. Activate the voice function. Uh, make sure that uh, I'm saying anything inappropriate. Okay. No kids want to scream. Hello. You got your fingers? Have them broken? You look normal. What's wrong again? Hmm. The conveyor seems to be stuck. Go to the assembly room further down the corridor and fix it. What is this? Oh, hello. Fulfillment. Ooh. Imagine getting your head stuck in that. Oh, bloody hell bells. Okay, they are now the most ugliest thing I've ever s I've ever seen. I'm gonna slap these. I'm going to slap these people silly a minute. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, you can jump in this game. Wow. These men, uh, are these men or women? It doesn't matter. They're all overweight. Oh, my God. Where's my put? disturbing. Whoever made this game, you're a bit of a sicko. The hell? Okay. These men, man. 
Well, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That was the game. Um, yeah, apparently this is going to be released on October the 24th, um, which is on Steam, so you can go play it yourself. I probably, this is the demo. I don't really, um, personally for me, it was a good game. I liked it. It isn't my type, type of horror game. It isn't my type of cup of tea. I don't really, from some of, you know, looking at it as a perspective of a demo like you're supposed to capture the narrative and the reasoning behind it because every it's exactly the same with a tv show or a movie there has to be a purpose there has to be a specific reason why you're creating it or an advertisement this you're telling me okay there's a worker there's a doll but what happens i need a little bit of insight to what happens i didn't feel it it was a good game good uh, very goodly made graphics are beautiful controls are obviously basic mouse sensitivity could be a bit different also sprinting button would be nice um, but overall it was a good game so um, you know I'm practically just you know promoting this if you want to play this game it's available on Steam on October the 24th 2024 this is the demo I have been Grog Games hopefully you've all guys enjoyed more horror games are on the way. I know we're a gaming channel and I don't do a lot of games, but you know, we're getting back to them. So until the next one, stay safe, stay happy, peace.